Before we begin in this presentation, let's talk about some information or history of MC, CDMA, or Multi Career Code Division Multiple Access. The European third generation 3G terrestrial mobile system under deployment aims at offering a large variety of circuit and packet services and greater capacity compared to second generation 2G systems. The evolution from 2G to 3G corresponds to adopting a new air interface bus but most of, most of all to a change of focus from voice to multimedia. Fourth generation 4G um, as, as for it will be defined by the ability to integrate heterogeneous network especially um, in radio mobile network and wireless net network or LAN that is to offer um, access to all service all time and everywhere beside the rapid growth of internet services and the increasing interest in the portable computing devices are likely to create strong demand for high-speed wireless data services presumably it is anticipated that systems with a maximum information bit rate of more than 2 to 20 Mbps in the vehicular environment and possibly 50 to 100 Mbps in indoor to pedestrian environments. Using a 5200 MHz bandwidth, K issues to fully meet this evolution versus perfect um, perspective are based upon the most efficient use of scarce spectrum resources and upon the adva advent of reconfigurable radio con conceivable due to emergence of software defined radio or SDR equipment. On the other hand, the multi-career code division multiple access or MC CDMA uh, modulation scheme has already proven to be a strong candidate as an access technique for, for broadband cellular systems. Different concepts based on the combination of multi-career MC or MC modulation with direct sequence CDMA or DS CDMA have been introduced in 1993. Since the time, owing to its high, high spectral efficiency and high flexibility, MCCDMA scheme has become a promising access technique to 4G um, air interface. So, hi everyone, my name is Elder Brian Angelo Esa Desma from the ECE3B. And this is my presentation on ECE23 performance task number 11. So in this presentation, we will focus on M on um, MCCDMA. So MCCDMA stands for Multi-Career Code Division Multiple Access. So what is MCCDMA? So Multi-Career Code Division Multiple Access or MCCDMA is a multiple access scheme used in OFDM-based telecommunication systems, allowing the system to support multiple users at the same time over same frequency band. Another is, its de development aimed at improved performance over multipath links. MCCDMA is a modulation method that uses multi-career transmission or OFDM or DSDMA type signals. Another is, this scheme was first proposed at PIM, PIM RRC 93 in Yokohama by Lenartz, Ye, and Fitwiz. Lenartz and Ye showed that MCCDMA signals can also be detected with fairly simple receiver structures using an FFT or Fourier transform and a variable gain diversity combiner in which the gain of each branch is controlled only by the channel at an attenuation at that career. So, another is, there are many equivalent ways to describe MCCDMA. So first, 
MCCDMA is a form of CDMA or spread spectrum, but we apply spreading in the frequency domain rather than in time domain as in direct sequence CDMA. MCCDMA is a form of direct sequence CDMA, but after spreading, a Fourier transform or FFT is performed. Another is MCCDMA is a form of of orthogonal frequency division multiplexing or OFDM. But we first apply orthogonal matrix operation to user bits. Therefore, MCCDMA is sometimes also called CDMA OFDM. So, MCCDMA is a form of direct sequence CDMA, but our code sequence is that Fourier transform of a Wall's Hadamard sequence. Next is MCCDMA structure. So this is the MCC, MCDMA structure, which shows that in signal structure of an MCCDMA symbol with four users, the data of each user is multiplexed over the frequency power access. It's shown in the figure that the bandwidth will remain same regardless the number of users, which which it shows in this um, figure. Which there are four, um, four or four users, and uh, shown in the figure, which define as, <clears throat> uh, regardless the number of users, um, the bandwidth will remain the same. So first, um, the BPS scheme uh, modulity symbol goes to the data repeated on each subscriber or subcarrier, and then goes to um, frequency domain spreading sequence and next is the MCCDMA symbol or single user single user and modulated for uh, four users is modulated and remain same um, bandwidth next is so next is the MCCDMA transmitter structure we first is the Goes to the transmitter, which is information bits. Next is the convolutional encoder. Next is the interleaver. And next is the modulator. And pass through to the spread spreading, which gold gold came in. And into the pilot insertion. Next is the S2, serial to parallel. Next is the IFFT or Fourier transform goes to parallel to serial and add CP or cyclic prefix. Next is to transmitted signal which goes to the user. So, what do we mean by gold gold? Go, gold code? A gold gold, gold gold or gold sequence is a, a type of binary sequence used in telecommunication or, or in CDMA and satellite navigation or GPS or global positioning system. So next is the transmitter implementation. So this is the uh, transmitter implementation which shows each bit is transmitted over n different subcarrier. Sub so <clears throat> this is the a different bit that is transmitted over the, over n different subcarrier. Each subcarrier has its own phase offset determined by the spreading code whereby a single da data bit is spread over a longer sequence of transmitted bits such codes are known as orthogonal codes next is the um another transmitter implementation so mc code division multiple access systems allow simultaneous transmission of several such user signals on the same set of subcarrier. In downlink multiplexer, this can be implemented using an inverse FFT or Fourier transform and a code matrix. So this is the downlink downlink of um, multiple carrier code division multiple access, which is it shows for different user and goes to modulation and into spreading goes to one um link which is a scrum link 
goes to um IFFT or for your transform to add CP or add cy cyclic prefix and down to its um receiver. The receiver uh goes to re remove CP or remove cyclic prefix goes to for your transform and goes to one tap equalization. Next is the scrambling and the spreading. And next is the last is the modulation and goes to its own phase or desired user data. So, MCCDMA as a special case of DSCDMA. So, transmitter can also be implemented as a direct sequence CDMA transmitter. One in which the user signal is multiplied by a fast code sequence. However, the new code sequence is the discrete Fourier transform of a binary. Say, Walsh had a marked code sequence, so it has a complex values. So, the diagram shows. Next is this. This is the figure is an alternative implementation of a multi-career spread spectrum transmitter using a direct sequence principle and same as the figure in this section. This is also the figure of an alternative implementation of multi-career spread spectrum transmitter using the direct sequence principle. <clears throat> so, the advantages of MCCDMA. So one is efficient utilization of specific frequency spectrum. Number two, flexible distribution of resources. Number three, large signal bandwidth reduces the multipath fading. Number four, addition of users is easy and no limit for the number of users as shown on the diagram before <coughs> this um, advantages. Number four, and number five, highly secured from hackers, which is uh, um advanced security feature for MCCDMA. Better, better signal quality. Next is no sense of handoff when changing cells. So, in the case of advantages, there are um, also disadvantages for MCCDMA. First, the overall quality of service service decreases when the number of user increases. We know that MCCDMA has an uh, unlimited number of users, but if the number um, of user goes high, the go the quality of its service decreases also. Number two is self jamming. So number three is near far problem for its disadvantage. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.